there's something missing. What is it? Something we've not covered yet. What have we not covered? So far, we've looked at analog input using the joystick pins A0 and A1 and analog read, digital input using the joystick SW input, pin 2 as an input, and digital output using pin 13 and the LED on board. We did look at the servo, but this is a specialised output. What is missing is analog output. Missing is pin mode, pin number, output. Analog write to pin number, a level. Now, this does exist, but not quite as expected. We saw that the Arduino was a digital device. It works quickly and efficiently with simple digital data. The simplest example we've seen is the way in which it read the joystick switch using digital read, either one or zero, on or off. And then the output to the onboard yellow LED, one or zero, on or off, using digital write. The Arduino has a special circuit that converts the analog input into a number that varies between a minimum of zero and a maximum of 1023. The circuit that converts the level into a number is called an analog to digital converter, or ADC. For the Arduino to give us a true analog output, it would need to convert these numbers back into a level, and this would need a digital to analog converter, or a DAC. These circuits do exist, but not on the UNO. The UNO only has digital outputs. It has to fake an analog output, and this is the way it works. If we go back to light switches and switch the light on very quickly, very very quickly, so quickly that you can't actually see it flashing. The light is on for half the time and off for half the time, and it will appear, therefore, to be half as bright as when it's full on. By varying the amount of time the switch was on and off, it could be possible to make it brighter and dimmer. On more than off would be brighter, off more than on would be dimmer. This is what analog write does. A value of zero is minimum off, and a value of 255 is maximum on. Any value in between gives a fading effect, what value is half on and half off? We can test this using our existing circuit. We can read the joystick and fade the LED on the board. Other than the analog write command, there is nothing new in this software. We've seen all this before. If all is working well, the LED should now be controlled by the position of the joystick. If we were to look at the signal driving the LED, it would appear to be a stream of pulses. A narrow pulse is dim, as it's more off than on, and a wide pulse is brighter, more on than off. For this reason, the technique used by the UNO to light the LED is known as pulse width modulation. In this video, we saw how the UNO deals with analog output when it can only drive a digital on-off signal. It completes our example of all four of the input and output modes available from the UNO. Digital in, digital out, analog in, and now analog out. The servo was considered to be a special type of output. We can now move on to look at further hardware and software using the UNO.